Welcome to our coverage of ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now 2014. We're in the ASUG News Studio, sponsored by NTT Data, and I'm very excited to be joined by a very dynamic duo who will be talking about something very near and dear to customers' hearts right now. We've been hearing all week about the new innovations SAP is delivering and how they will make customers' lives simpler. But the hard part, really, is going to be getting from where they are now to where they need to be. And here this morning to talk about that is some folks from SAP's Business Transformation Office. I have Sunia Patel and Bill Newman from SAP, a new sap -er. A new sap -er, yes. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Absolutely, thank you, thank thank you, you. for having us. So let's talk a little bit about the Value Partnership Service. What is it, Sunil? Well, the Value Partnership Service is our long-term partnership with customers to do a couple of things. One is to help understand the connection between their business strategy and their IT strategy to really bridge it. A lot of customers have challenges with that. And then creating that roadmap to continuously change to go forward. And we are the partners in that journey to help our customers actually realize that value. So we should mention that this is a, a subset of the larger SAP consulting organization, Absolutely, right? yeah. Business Transformation Services is the transformation services piece along with all the other components of the SAP consulting portfolio, but we play a little bit of a tip of the spear for a lot of our customers mm -hmm. in helping design where they need to go. And this is really a new initiative? It is an initiative that's been around for about seven or eight years. It started in, in our EMEA practice, mm -hmm. and then it has grown in terms of all the frameworks and the methodologies that, that we've had to do three things, to help our customer, customers innovate, transform, and optimize, to reach mm -hmm. those business outcomes we developed this whole set of services and methodologies. So we're talking about bringing IT and business together and really helping people complete this bridge between right. these because two. Right, because with all this change that's occurring, big data, cloud, everything, how you actually get there is the difficult part. Right. right? It all sounds exciting, yeah. but how do you get there in a complex organization? You guys get the hard job. Yeah, how do we make it simple for our customers? Right. And take right. a note from Bill, that's what we do. So talk to me about some of the scenarios here, Bill. Right, so some of the things that we're seeing customers asking us to do would be uh, to look at how are the different market forces and business drivers affecting um, my business, my business strategy. I'm being asked to implement a business strategy. So what does that mean when we're looking at having to do that? And what we can help do is we can help take a look at that from a portfolio approach rather than just a, a number of perhaps unattached, unaffiliated projects, which are good, but oftentimes don't really drive the outcome and the value that an organization needs to get from point A to point B. So we can look at that from a portfolio approach, much like the PMI body of knowledge, and we can, we can drive that towards value, results, and outcomes. And we, we don't just take the strategy and tell you, oh, here's your roadmap, and then leave. We're with you as a trusted advisor through the whole journey, bringing in and helping to leverage the best of SAP's talent to help you get to that place. So talk to me about how this is playing out with specific customers. I understand you had a great panel discussion mm, yesterday yeah, on yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we had uh, U.S. Army and Cardinal Health, as well as Hallmark Cards, that in a, in a BTS panel, mm -hmm. and some very interesting insights came came about. Um, you know, in Hallmark, as an example, they're really trying to drive their whole field force to be mobile, but to be really simple in terms of how they manage their inventory, their marketing, their stock, and really leveraging the right seamless, simple process to do certain things, to understand where the demand is, and then to do the right you know, marketing promotions, right? And one of the things that we saw at Cardinal Health with the Affordable Care Act and some of the changes that are happening in healthcare, they're having to retool how they not only deliver their medical device uh, programs, but also the services wrapped around that and how their customers who are in the different hospitals and practice offices, how they drive their services, and really taking that outside in approach. And so we've helped them as a part of that journey kind of map out the different SAP technologies that they can use from product ideation to service execution. And that's just, that's just one great example of how market forces are driving business innovation and the need to change inside of organizations. It's so interesting to hear you talk about, mm -hmm. you know, the, the army and then the healthcare care industry, you know, because mm -hmm. this is really, we're, we're not, we're no longer talking about a solution looking for a problem. We're right, starting right. with the process, 
and having the solutions jump mm -hmm. into those yeah. different and parts you, of And you it. mentioned the Army. Yeah. You know, their, their challenge is, is that they've got all these capital assets and normally you would just buy a Jeep or a truck and you'd send it to a base and then it would be written off over time. Well, now you're dealing with multiple theaters of combat. Well, what do you do? How do you record that if for whatever you have to do uh, MRO servicing out in the theater of battle, you know, in a foreign nation with distributed logistics and 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 really understanding how how the backbone systems that SAP can bring to the table, how does that all work across multiple geographies, multiple task forces, and and finally when you get to retire that asset, how do you do it correctly so that the the GAO office doesn't you know ask questions later and and that was that was pretty pretty daunting challenge that oh, they yeah. that they yeah. faced and we've been able to help them down that journey yeah i mean some of the key things we saw from you know across the panel members was number one this digital transformation that we've mm -hmm. all been talking about the digitizing of the business it's happening quickly you know Very all quickly. these organizations so how do they handle that the volumes of information the challenges of getting insight out of it I mean, that's just, that's just huge. Um, the second thing we saw is that governance of all this is really important. Mm -hmm. So how do you govern it? When do you do it? I mean, we hear, especially with like cloud providers, somebody can just buy a cloud solution on their credit card, right? right. Well, how do you really make that work in a complex business process, right? right? So those are a couple of the insights we had from those customers. Yeah. Great, great, great panel. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like it. Mm -hmm. Now to close out, tell me a little bit about if I'm a customer looking at this, do I go to SAP? Where do partners fit in? Yeah, in well, I mean, as, as, a, as a former partner, I think that's a great question to ask. I mean, there we have some excellent partners, and we will continue to leverage partners from a systems integration perspective. Um, from a portfolio management, what oftentimes happens is that a customer will come with us to us with a business strategy in hand. And then what we can do as having the down road, down river vision of, of the roadmap of SAP's different products and services, we can help articulate the different business scenarios needed, come up with kind of the investment packages based on our value realization, value engineering services, and then give them different options. And then engage with partners as needed to affect and make real those different options in program and projects, continuing to manage that portfolio. So it really is a collaborative environment that, that we see working best. Um, and, and, and I think it's a great opportunity for customers who perhaps have never been able to consider that way going forward of, of managing their value and outcomes. So we have the partners, we have the 700 SAP consultants globally. This is really a growing part of the consulting arm of SAP. Absolutely, we see it in uh, SAP Consulting as one of the tips of the spear, really engaging with our customers for specific business outcomes. You know, having SAP involved much much earlier on. Fantastic. Well, great insight, great interview. Thank you so much for joining me up here. Thank Thanks you. for watching our coverage of ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now. For more SAP coverage, please tune to asugnews.com.